way the console is set up, if you remember at the very beginning, we set up our template, and that gave us the number of channels and buses. It also gives us the number of uh, control masters, or VCAs, that we use on the desk. On this particular one, we have 10, all right? So what we first need to do is bring the VCA masters, or control masters, onto the surface. So we hit Strip Setup. And then we can either put it on the fader bay or put it on the control bay, doesn't matter. Here I've already put them on the uh, control bay. And just to show you again, you can select one or double click for mini, right click, and then you go to control group masters, and then you would then select them to come up. We go to page three, and there are our masters. They're also color coded blue. All right, so we always know blue are our VCA or control group masters. So to start creating your groups, what you do is you select groups here under setup. We're going to go with control master one. We select it. We have a filter page to select either we want fader or auxes or EQs all to be part of the group. For this example, I'll keep them all checked. So we selected the control master one, and then we just select what we want to group. We want to group these three. So now when I take the group off, and I move the fader, they move. Pretty simple. Again, I hit groups. Maybe I have control group master five, and I want these three to be part of five. And it comes up five. You select here, and they're now all part of five. I can also add or subtract. I can go to groups. I go to five. You can see they highlight right here, and I take this guy out. So now only these two are part of the group. Okay. Now I can also, you can see these are moving uh, together, uh, the motorized fader. But I can also go into this option page and go to VCA style control groups. So they act like VCAs. And it comes up with a little information here that these will now have VCA style behavior. So I hit OK. You can see here when I move the master here, these groups, they stay the same. Even though the volumes are adjusting, the faders stay the same. So I can make these adjustments, and in the background, the, the audio is going up and down. And then if I want to go back, I just go to Options, and I can uncheck VCA style groups. OK, so that is basically how you do VCAs. And naming these, again, we would go to Strip Setup, we would right click on it, go to edit user label, and now we can label our VCA masters what we want them to be. Could be drums, could be horns, could be reporters in the field, really whatever you want.